there are various types of data structures we are going to see in this subject so primarily there are two things that is it, it is divided in two ways there is one is called as primitive data structure and another is called as non primitive data structures so what do you mean by primitive data structures all the data types that you define in uh, c programming language or any programming language like integer character float double boolean and so on that all comes under primitive data structures all data types comes under primitive data structures whereas non primitive data structures are linear data structure or non linear data structure now to differentiate between these two primitive data structures comes with the compiler when you install it they are their meaning is already known to the compiler whereas non primitive data structure has to be defined by a user or designed by a user it is a derived data type you can say it is a derived data type like array structure stack queue linked list trees graph and so on so these are derived from the inbuilt data types all those derived data structures comes under non primitive data structures non primitive data structures are divided into two categories first category is called as linear data structure and another category is called as non linear data structures now what is linear data structure a data structure in which all the elements are arranged in a continuous memory location after one another so they are placed one after the another sequentially all those data structures are called as linear data structures now what are non linear data structures these are the data structures in which the elements are placed randomly in a computer's memory like you can say a family tree wherein there are multiple branches multiple branches there is one root node there are there are many children right so definitely they are placed at a random memory locations they are not stored in a continuous memory location that's why those data structures are comes under non linear data structures so which are non linear data structures one is tree uh, another is graph which are linear data structures arrays stack queue linked list all these are linear data structures right every non linear data such a non primitive data structure in detail because we have separate module on linear data structure and another module is on non linear data structure so you can see in primitive data structures we have all the data types primitive data types like integer float character boolean double and so on so it means all these things you have seen in the c programming language in previous semester in previous semester so we can say that integer is used for storing all integer numbers without decimal point then another is float which is used for storing a number with decimal point character is used for storing character values boolean is basically used to represent logical values either it may be either true or it may be false so you know all these uh, primitive data types let's move to the non primitive data types data types derived from pri primary data types are always known as non primitive data types uh, they are basically used to store group of values so it is always derived data type you can say it can be divided into two parts one is linear and non linear data structures in linear data structure linear data structure traverses the data element sequentially in linear data structure only one data element can be directly be reached at a time it includes arrays linked list stack and queues so we will see a uh, linked list stack and queue in this module and you know what is array is array is a collection of similar type of data items stored in a continuous memory location and you can access the elements of the array one 
by one at a time. Stack is a data structure. It is also a linear data structure in which elements can be inserted or elements can be removed from only one end. That is called as stop the stack. Basic operations that we perform on stack are push, pop, and display. Push is nothing but inserting a value inside the stack. Pop is nothing but deleting the value from the stack. And display is nothing but the display all the elements of the stack in the reverse order of their insertion. Element which is inserted to the stack first will be stored at the bottom of the stack, whereas the element which is inserted last will be placed on the top of the stack. That's why it is also known as last in first out data structure because the element which is inserted last will be removed first. So last in first out is called as stack is the principle of stack. Now next one is Q. Q is also a linear data structure in which elements can be inserted from one end whereas elements can be removed from another end. The end from which we insert the element of the queue is called as rear end whereas the end from which we delete the element of the queue is called as front end. So to understand this, take an example of a best bus wherein there are two doors. Suppose if you follow the first come first serve manner, the person who enters first will get the seat number one, person who enters second will get the seat number two and so on. If you follow the sequence, suppose it follows the principle of Q, first come first serve. And also while exiting from the bus, suppose you follow the same principle, first in first out. The person who entered first will be removed first from the bus. So then that bus can also be considered as a queue. We can also consider an example of people waiting for a ticket in front of the railway ticket counter. The person who came first to book the ticket will get the chance first, whereas the per person who come later will get the chance later and so on. So this will execute it in a first come first serve manner. So this type of things are called as uh, the principles of queue. So Q is also known as first in, first out. It is also known as first come, first serve. FIFO is the principle of Q. Then what is linked list? Is linked list is a collection of data elements where is wherein it always use a node to store the value into the linked list. Node consists of two parts. One is called as info part, and another is called as link. Info part always store the value of a node whereas link part link it to the next node in the linked list. To understand link list, take an example of our railway local train and imagine that all the boogies are same. They are not numbered like one, two, three, four and so on. They are unique. They are, they are, they are same, right? And there is one engine to the train. So engine is nothing but the start pointer of the linked list which always points to the first boogie of the train. So we can say that the first boogie is the first node inside the link list, whereas there is one last boogie inside the train and that is considered as last node in, inside the link list. Every boogie of the train is connected to another boogie via a rod that is called a pointer or a link which connects the first node to the second, second node to the third node and so on, second last node to the last node. We will see this concept of linked list in detail in the in this model in the sec, last half of the model. Okay, so linked list is a dynamic data structure which always saves our memory and time. It is efficiently used memory, efficiently use the time to solve the problem. So it means that any data structure can be implemented by two ways. One is by using array, and by another is by using linked list that we'll see in detail whenever the concept comes in this model. Okay, so for introduction, this much is enough. Then coming to the non-linear data structure, non-linear data structure is exactly opposite of linear data structure. In this, data values are not arranged in an order and a data item is connected to several other data items. I have given an example of a family tree wherein there is a grandfather say and the grandfather has two children then below two children there are more children and so on like that a family tree grows suppose so it means that the elements are randomly placed 
in the compressed memory. Nonlinear data structure uses memory efficiently. Free contiguous memory is not required for allocating the data items. It includes the data structure like trees and graph. So, question may be asked in your in your examination. Explain, uh, define data structure and explain different types of data structure. If it is asked, then you have to explain this much and you have to give a, a diagram for each and every data structure. You, if it is array, you have to draw a diagram for array. If it is stack, you have to draw a diagram for stack and then you have to explain it. Similarly, for Q, you have to draw Q and then explain something about Q. Then for linked list and similar thing for trees and graph. So I've given you the explanation in this table. You can read it. It is self-explanatory. Okay. 